about ending his season. You know, you work, you work so hard for, for seasons and moments like these. So when, you know, whenever you get hurt and it, it ends it early, it's, it's tough to, tough to handle, but you know, that's part of the game. Been through it before. So just got to grind it out. Yeah, the, the play before it happened, I landed on, on the wrist a little bit. Um, and then the next play, you know, the touchdown pass just felt the pop when uh, in the middle of the throw, you know, tried to tried to give it a go, but just couldn't couldn't get it done. So then uh, obviously got the news today. So not great. Yeah, like, you know, we saw you try to throw a couple times. And just didn't go. Did you know at that moment then that you probably just couldn't just couldn't do it? What was that? I knew I couldn't. I knew I couldn't t yesterday. Uh, and so that was tough. You know. I was excited about how that game was heading, uh, and then this is what it is. When you went to the tent and before you do those, did you think, do you feel pretty good about the situation? Did you not feel good about the situation? Oh, I'm not. I didn't really have a feeling at that time. Uh, just gonna. I was just gonna tape it up and give it a shot. Uh, just go through the the process of what it's gonna take to get back, and you go and do it. That's all you can do. What have they told you about the, the process of getting back? I mean, how soon do you expect to be able to throw again and go through all those drills? Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's still very early. Still got a lot of people to talk to uh, and, you know, a lot of work to do. So I don't really have an answer on that one. Is there stuff you draw from, I mean, the ACL, that process, how you were able to handle it and come through, is stuff you draw from that that feels like it can help you, you know, come out of this? Uh, you know, with a, a good mindset. Yeah, I've you know I've been through stuff like this before, so it's nothing new. You know, like I said, it's football stuff like this happens. You just gotta live, learn to live with it. And you know I've talked a lot about leaning on your support system. I got a great support system, great friends, great family. Uh, help me get through it. Great teammates. You know I'll be around here. So uh, not ideal, but. You know, I've got what it takes, and the people around me got what it takes to, to get it done. What have your teammates been saying to you? They've been nothing but supportive. Uh, love those guys. They're going to keep fighting, get wins, make the playoffs. Uh, you know, Jake's going to play great. Jake played really well yesterday when he got his chance, and that was off of no practice. So he's going to wrap on your wrist going into the game. What led to that? That was – this is a completely different – different thing um, you know it's not uncommon for guys to wear compression sleeves on plane because when you go up to that altitude you, can, you know things can swell up I had you know football you have a lot of bumps and bruises this is a, a completely new injury so it was, it was a compression sleeve it was compression sleeve yeah did you have soreness before that flight is that why you, you grabbed it or just just a precautionary or? no that was more of a just make sure my arm on a flight doesn't I mean you you try to maintain your body as much as you can and you know on a short week you got some bumps and bruises had nothing to do with the wrist you do everything right you do everything to do this job you pour everything into it just like that like just making sure your arm's okay on a 59 minute flight you ever wonder you know, why me when it's just stuff just keeps happening you do everything right I mean, yeah, you know, it's tough, but, you know, that's that's the life we live. Uh, that's football. You're going to get injured. Things are going to happen. You're going to have to overcome things. Everybody's overcome things in their career to get to where they're at. You know, everybody in that locker room has. Everybody across the league has. You know, this is nothing different from anything anybody else has experienced. Uh, it is what it is. Is that just one of the compression things something you normally do? Throughout the course of the, uh, yeah, I, I do that throughout the season, time to time. It's just kind of later in the years, kind of just kind of feel things. Yeah. Obviously, the, the 2020 is a really significant point. In some ways, is this even more frustrating considering the, the season, the, the expectations, the opportunity, all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, whenever you, you go down, you have a lot of aspirations for what the season is going to look like, what the end of the season is going to look like. Um, you know, we were in a good spot. We are in a good spot. It's uh, obviously disappointing uh, because you work so hard to, to get to this moment and, you know, things starting to, to take a turn. You're starting to play really well, and then uh, something like this happens. So nothing you can do about it.
just just gotta grind it out. Well, I think you'll be able to. Do you think you'll be able to stay around and hang around? Yeah, yeah I'll be it? I'll be around. Why do you think you're so mentally strong to handle everything you've been through the last three years? You know, like I said, I've been through it. You know, I've been in those moments. Um, there's just no, not really any other option than to be that way. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to get through it, and you're not going to come back out on the other side. So, uh, no other option. Have you? It's expected. You know, it's not going to be the last time something like this happens in my career, too. Uh, that's just part of it. Have you heard of any other quarterbacks who've had this injury? I have not. Um, we're we're doing as much research as we can about it to figure out what's what's best going forward. Uh, still in the process of doing that. This looks a lot different than it did in 2020 after what happened to me. How, much, how, how do you feel like they've done in terms of putting together a, a team you need around you to be able to be successful? Yeah, we got, we got great guys. We got the guys in the room that uh, can get it done. Uh, you know, I love everybody in that room. I'm going to lean on those guys throughout this whole process, and they're going to continue to go out and win games without me. That's uh, what has to happen. They're, they're going to continue to grind it out. Uh, it's a tough season. It's a long season, but, you know, we got the guys to continue to win games and, and make the playoffs and put ourselves in good position at the end. Did you address the team, Joe, in the meeting today? No. No, there's not much to say. You know, you talk to guys in the locker room, tell them what's going on, but, you know, Nothing to say. Normal team meeting. You, you mentioned you're still gathering information on the best way to treat this. Is looking at possibilities of not getting surgery part of what you're looking at, or is surgery just something that's inevitable? Everything that I've seen so far is that surgery is going to be needed. Uh, you know, I haven't had the conversations yet. You know, I just had the MRI this morning, and you know, we watched the tape, and then we had the team meeting. Uh, so I haven't really had time to, to have those discussions with the people that I'm going to be making the decision with. Uh, so I don't really have an answer, but uh, likely surgery. What, did you say anything to Jake before you went out there? Or I guess you were, you were doing your own thing. No, when I, once I came back out, you know, he was, he was playing well. Um, and, you know, I see him every day. I know what he's capable of. Uh, he plays a lot like I do. Um, he's going to do, do a great job. He's going to continue to get better week after week. You know, that's something that happens with reps, and uh, I'm excited to watch him go out and, and do his thing. Well, what role is it that you now play with the team? Be present. You know, try to bring energy. Uh, try to bring, you know, I've kind of always just been a league by example guy, but, you know, that's not really where I'm at right now. I can't lead, lead by example, so i got to find other ways to do that. Bring energy, talk to guys. Um, try to to boost morale in any way that I can. Uh, that's the the job that I have right now. Have you had a message? Uh, you were asked if you had a message to Jake last night. But what have your conversations to Dave been like with Jake? Well, we watched, we watched the tape together. Um, just tried to give him any insight on on things that I've experienced and watched in my mindset playing over the last couple of years. You know, I'll give him as much or as little as he wants. You know. He's, he's going to do a great job. What's the biggest thing you've kind of worried about him at the time you got to know him the last couple of years? We're, we're very similar people, and that's why I'm, I'm such good friends with him. You know, he's very even keeled. You know, no moment is too big for him. He went in on Thursday night football and without well, on a short week without having practiced and, and played well. So uh, he's, he's a guy that's going to continue to get better, and no moment is too big for him. What was your Mars reaction to the news? Um, I mean, he was obviously disappointed, but just like I said, there's no time to sit and wallow. He's going to be out there playing, and Jake's going to be feeding in the ball just like I did, and he's going to continue to make plays. You know, he's going to continue to to do what Jamar does. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe.